Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Alicia, and today I'm sharing with you my final grocery haul of 2022. This is gonna be a Winco haul. I'm gonna be sharing with you everything that I picked up because I have a lot of things that I'm gonna be baking and cooking in the next week or so. I have a long list of Christmas cookies I'm gonna be making, along with a few dishes I will be contributing to Christmas dinner. And then of course, I have to make dinner for our family, so I'm gonna share with you a few ideas that I'm gonna be making so let me show you everything that I picked up all right I'm gonna start right down here this is obviously a non-food item but I saw this I thought this would be a great idea for stocking stuffers if we decide to get our kids like a couple of little gift cards these were really cheap you get six cards in here I have a bunch of cheese right here I have two things of cheddar cheese a mozzarella and a Monterey Jack one of the things I'm making for Christmas dinner is some enchiladas that's what we always usually have for Christmas dinners my grandma used to make the best cheese enchiladas so I'm gonna be making just like regular ground beef enchiladas but also for Christmas dinner, I'm gonna do a baked mac and cheese as one of our sides because my mom is getting, um, my mom is the one that is in charge of Christmas dinner, so she is getting like some deep pit meat and then some beans, so we're just kind of contributing sides, so I thought some baked mac and cheese would be a great idea. I'm gonna make hamburgers this week because it's just a very simple, easy meal. I, of course, I get my hamburger patties from Costco, and if you guys had seen that last Costco haul, I did get the uh, grass-fed organic patties and I'm very excited that they are still carrying those so that's coming up this week I do have two bags of elbow macaroni one of course is for the baked mac and cheese and then the other one is going to be for like a hamburger helper I don't remember the name of the blog but I'll list that recipe down below it's just an, another easy meal that I need to make because I'm going to be in the kitchen quite a bit with the list of cookies that I'm going to be making actually these items I'm not necessarily using I have an ongoing list of that I keep in my kitchen drawer like our junk drawer when Whenever I use something, I write it down on my list so that the next time I go to the store, I pick it up. So I did run out of the seasoning, seasoned salt, and then I needed to get some panko breadcrumbs and seasoned breadcrumbs. I have two four pound bags of sugar. Uh, maybe I should just go over my list of cookies right now that I'm making. Let me bring it up because I have a whole list here. So at least for the cookies, this is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing sugar cookies. I like making my own sugar cookies. I have a recipe in my binder. It's kind of like handwritten. I'm also gonna do some cherry chocolate kiss cookies. These are fantastic. I have, oh here it is, a little cookbook. Actually it's my mom's and she gave it to me and it comes out of this cookbook right here here but it's super old she used to make these a long time ago you can see how old they are just by like the page coloring and whatnot here they are right here they're the cherry chocolate kiss cookies these are phenomenal and every time um, I smell almond like if I use almond in my pancake batter I always think of these cookies they're so good really really easy to make so those are gonna be part of that. I'm also gonna be making some gingerbread cookies. That is from Sally's Bake Blog. We made some gingerbread cookies last year. They were delicious, they were a hit. My kids really like to decorate them. Some other cookies I'm making are some slice and bake butter pecan cookies. I'm also gonna be making some thumbprint cookies. I have my own recipe written down somewhere. I have to figure out where it is, but I am gonna be using that jam from my Costco haul that I picked up in a, a couple weeks ago. And then the last cookie I'm making are some Kevin's Kevin McAllister's Christmas cookies I have that recipe on my blog I'll link it of course down below but I'm gonna be going through our Halloween stash we still have quite a bit of M&Ms so I'm just gonna be pulling out like the 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 red and the green M&Ms to use and just just to make them a little bit more festive all right so that is my list of cookies let's carry on almond extract of course that is for those cherry cookies a lot of powdered sugar because I'm making a lot of frosting a lot of icing so need all that powdered sugar I did get some cranberries recently but I thought I needed more there's gonna be a cranberry orange loaf that I'm making that is absolutely divine it is so so yummy and it's like lightly iced it's so good so that's something else I'm gonna be giving away to my uh, friends family neighbors I like to make little plates for our neighbors of all the cookies that I make just to because I like I enjoy baking but we can't have all this stuff around the house I picked up just a little bit of honey roasted turkey I have two boxes of the pork sausage links to make for breakfast now I did go to Costco I did get that big old thing of butter but I did 
just get two boxes of just the regular salted butter just in case because the amount of butter I'll be using is insane. Some sour cream. Our sour cream expired in the fridge the other day, so I needed to restock on that. I have two bottles of maraschino cherries. Without the stems, I'm gonna puree these and those go into those cherry cookies. I have three five pound bags of all purpose flour for all the baking. I'm running really low on Worcestershire sauce, so I did get this because this is gonna go into that baked mac and cheese. With our hamburgers, I picked up a few different things from the deli. I never usually get like any of the prepared like salads and whatnot. I usually like making my own, but I decided to try a few. So this right here is a California pasta salad. I also have the macaroni salad. I think we've tried this before and it's really good, but I've never tried this. This is their deviled egg potato egg salad. That sounds really good. I love deviled eggs, so does my husband. He probably will really like that. Eggs are a precious commodity right now. They're pretty expensive for a dozen eggs. I think it was like 420 per dozen, which is really expensive but I need it all for breakfast and of course for baking. Some blueberries. I have some dark chocolate chips. I got this from the bulk section because I love their dark. Their dark chocolate chips are actually like semi-sweet, so they're not super bitter like normal dark, dark chocolate is, but this is gonna be melted down and then that slice and bake cookie is gonna be dipped, like half the cookie will be dipped into this. It's gonna be so good. Then you top it off with some um, sea salt. I just have some honey crisp apples. I got four of them. Some pecan Cons. Those are going into those slice and bake cookies. I got three shallots and these shallots are actually going into a crock pot, a sun-dried tomato chicken. It says the recipe is set, calls for creamy polenta, but I'm not going to do that. I still have a good amount of potatoes. I'm going to actually just going to make mashed potatoes with this. I think that'll be perfect. I have a lot of oranges right here. I'm going to be juicing some of these oranges for the cranberry orange loaf. And then I can't remember what That's else I'm doing. Really good. Huh? That's really good. I know, it's really good. He's, my husband said he really likes the cranberry orange loaf. I have a bunch of green bananas back here because we do have some pretty ripe ones um, right now, but these are for later. I have three gallons of milk because I'm gonna be making some hot chocolate, of course, because it is very cold outside, even like looking outside, it looks so gloomy, but I actually like this type of weather. This is like my jam type of weather, even though everyone is sick. I'm sick if you cannot tell right now. I have like a little cold, but I'm starting to get over it, so feeling better. I have this raw sugar. This is gonna go into that slice and bake butter pecan cookie. Some garlic, of course, for any of the other meals I'm gonna be making. I always like to have garlic. I have two things of green onions right here. One of the green onions I'm gonna use for enchiladas, but the other one is gonna be going into a sheet pan a sticky ginger soy chicken and broccoli dish that I'm gonna make. It seems very easy. It's a sheet pan dish, so I can throw everything on there and cook it off all at once and then just make some jasmine rice on the side, which reminds me, I didn't even talk about the jasmine rice. I was wondering if I even got it. I did get jasmine rice for that dish specifically. I have some, this is the only tomatoes I could find. Of course, it's not tomato season, but I still like tomatoes with my hamburger, so I'm just gonna cut up a few Roma tomatoes for the hamburgers. I always like to have limes just in case um, I want to make like a cocktail or if any dishes call for lime juice. I decided to get the bulk cocoa powder. I usually just get the Hershey's box powder, but I thought this would be fine. But then, you know, I, this might actually make a, a huge mess. Um, we'll see how this goes. I've never actually gotten the bulk of this before, so we'll see how that is because it, it looks like it's gonna be a huge mess. And then the last thing I have is this eggnog carton. I'm gonna be making some eggnog cinnamon rolls for Christmas morning. Now I've made an eggnog um, cinnamon roll recipe before by Half Baked Harvest and it's really good, but I was perusing different recipes and I found this one from La Creme de la Creme and I thought I would give that a try. There's just slight differences, but I wanna try something different a different recipe, but I'll include both of them down below for you guys. All right, my friends, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel on your way out. I would really appreciate your support and I wanna wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we will see you in 2023. Bye guys.